I believe the Puerto Rican powers are the most beautiful birds in the world. They are part of our nature, they are part of our culture, they are part of our patrimony. It's our commitment to produce as much powers as, as possible in captivity to reintroduce them into the wild. Lincoln Park Zoo, they have been providing lots of very important insights, especially when it comes to management of small populations, because they have the expertise in such areas and they are passionate, like us, about the recovery of the parrot. It's a really rewarding program to be collaborating with. Um, they're using software that I developed uh, decades ago in my career, but using it for the conservation of a wild population and the recovery of a species, which is really, really exciting. Well, Lincoln Park Zoo has been helping us maintain a stud book for the captive population of Puerto Rican parrots. So we can trace back the history of every single Puerto Rican parrot produced in captivity and in the wild by just looking at this really great program called PopLink. I fall in love with that program and how useful and all the great tools it has been able to provide us. Right now we're here at the Hurricane Room. We can move the whole flock, which consists of over 200 birds. It's a decision that we take when we are sure there's gonna be a hurricane landfall. We're at El Yunque National Forest. Um, it's significant damage over uh, since the hurricane. You can see the forest is completely stripped, even if looking at the cages. Previously, all of those were shaded and protected, and now they're all um, exposed. The population right before Hurricane Maria in Rio Bajo was at the highest it had ever been in the wild. The first time that I saw the forest after Hurricane Maria, I just couldn't imagine how the parrots could even survive something that catastrophic. And then I was really pleased when we were finally able to get back into the forest and we started seeing the wild birds coming back in, in large groups and we said, okay, it looks like quite a few of them made it. And we were really pleasantly surprised to see that the parrots were able to get back to breeding like normal. What we're talking about right now and what we're going to start on in the next year is developing a population viability analysis. And this is a more in-depth computer model that's going to really help us plan out recovery of the whole population, figure out how many animals we should reintroduce at once, how many birds should stay in the aviaries, and what to fine-tune our recovery planning for the species. So we're really excited and our collaborators are really excited to start working on that project. This is the first time that I've been back to the island in five years, and the first time since Hurricane Maria struck. So I was a little hesitant and concerned about what it would look like at both aviary sites and the island in general. But there's been a lot of work, a lot of progress. We were able to see both wild birds at El Yunque. We were also able to see the wild flock at Rio Abajo at Utuado State Forest. That made me really hopeful. I'm very optimistic for the future of the program. For the first time in the history of the program, we have two Puerto Rican parrots in a permanent exhibit here at the Lincoln Park Zoo, which have a vibrant, a big Puerto Rican community. They will feel as proud as us that, hey, we have been able to recover these species almost from the brink of extinction. As we say in Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico lo hace mejor.